believe that this is one of the best drive up shots you can get at any amusement park out there. Best rollover ever. So much like other parks, you have a bag check-in that you have to go through security-wise. Big tip for you guys though, come over to the, what's this, the right side of the park? Yeah, the right side. Left side will always get packed up and have a usual little bit longer line. Not over here on the right side. Be worth doing. So one other thing that we just got told too a minute ago is there's those two lines there, but they have a third line that's over here that usually, has nobody. Usually the bus is parked over yeah. here, so it's usually packed. But usually, this time, nobody. We're headed in. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We got butterflies in front of us, so the lore is all... Butterflies! <laughs> We're back at the point. It's been a while since we've been here. Well, about a week for us, but it's all right. Uh, we are sans the kids, so we're freelancing today. We're, we're going to be doing everything, talking about the coasters, talking about the best little hidden secrets. We showed you one out of the gate already, but there's some more inside. We stood a lot here though long enough. Let's get inside. Let's, 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 let's show them the butterflies. Let's show them the butterflies. Oh. Look at the butterflies. They're all throughout the license. Look at this. Okay, so we're inside. We got through the madness at the gate, and we are also rocking the Fast Lane Plus today because it's Friday. It is a busy day in the park. <laughs> Usually we come like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. This was one of those rare occasions we could actually come out on a Friday and kind of check out how the weekend's going. This is also their barbecue food truck um, competition opening weekend. So there's that in there, they're busy. So the only way we were gonna get anything done today was rocking the pink bracelets and doing it. So well, it's really cool and, and we'll show you guys this a little bit. Right across the way here, and I'm actually just hearing the drums from the bands coming down right now, but across the way over at the uh, Jack Aldrich Theater, there's a meet and greet going on with some peanut characters right now. So really let's cool. see, we get across. Let's see the lines. Yeah. Snoopy, and I think Charlie Brown was over there too. Ah, I can't do it right. <laughs> so. Yeah, there they are. All hanging out and saying hi. No, oh, we're coming to say hi. Hi guys! Here, let's go see you. Yeah. Little shot here for our YouTube channel, alright? Gotcha. Hi, thank you guys so much. You guys are awesome. High five. We're going to walk the line. High five. Dog five. High five. High five. Oh! I got played! I got played! By the way, if you ever get too tired and whatnot, you can always do a sky ride across. It's very easy on the legs, which we'll do at one point during this whole visit today, because I'm sure it'll be needed. But, uh, first up, ooh! We got the big guy at the top of the hill oh. going down. Top thrill rocking hard today, which is actually very cool to see because there's, it's not as windy as we thought it was going to be. No. Like we really thought it was going to be windier than this today. It's not. So that's actually pretty good. So the first thing that we actually have to do is go to Val Raven because uh, they don't allow, uh, they don't allow cameras on any of the rides, which sucks. We won't be able to show you any ride footage of any of the rides that we go on, but that's okay. We'll give you the ride reviews. We'll give you the ride reviews after we get off. Um, but uh, yeah, we need to uh, kind of go hang loose on uh, Val Raven. All right, one of the cool things about here at Cedar Point is that most of the rides, they don't allow you to take anything on at all 
They don't even have the buckets anymore. So now, what we do, hey, excuse Raptor in the background, you can come and rent a locker for an entire day. And that will last us forever. I'm gonna the process is fairly simple. You just gotta put in a seven digit code and a four digit code, and you're good to go. Alright. <laughs> They're working on Blue Streak over there. So we are. Alright, so we are off Valraven. We are off Raptor. Took care of both those two. Guys, they're two of our funnest rides. Uh, so far, not so bad. You know, we got here, you're gonna hear some roaring in a second. Hang on. Let me flip this. That big, that big, that big pretty behind us. Yeah. So, gatekeeper done, and it looks like we got gatekeeper done just in time because all of a literally all of a sudden this side of the park shut down. Um, literally, gatekeeper, the wheel, uh, wicked twister, wind seeker, which we were actually going over to ride but can't now because it shut down. Literally, it's like everything on this side of the park just shut down, with the exception of Mac Air. I mean, it's gotten ridiculously quiet all of a sudden yeah very weird but for now we're actually headed over to the sky ride hopefully if not we're walking our way over to um millennium force millennium. to go get some ride there so let's go so update it's out throughout all sandusky <laughs> The power outage kind of went a little bit bigger than just the park. And like I said, it's very eerily quiet. <laughs> so, um, where are you at? So, with that being said, we're just Pokemon hunting now because that's pretty much all that's left to do right here. But uh, here's a quick update for you. Also, Halloween is coming. You know how we can tell Halloween is coming? Because. That seriously may be one of the coolest things, prop wise, they've seen. And it's a Pokemon stop. Yeah, <laughs> we'll figure that one out. It's a Halloween decoration and a Pokemon stop. Sure, why not? It's sit down break time. Uh -huh. <laughs> We've walked. Ow. We're in the back of the park now. We've walked a lot. Um, hey, I've hit my steps for the day already. <laughs> and it's, uh, let me see here, almost one? Yep, almost one. 1242. This is actually kind of cool being here during a power outage when the power is slowly coming back to things because you can kind of hear the park slowly coming back to life. But uh still Pokemoning. Yeah. Still gonna be Pokemoning. But uh things are slowly coming back to life, which There's is actually kind of cool. Kill herself. Yeah. <laughs> it's slowly coming back to life. Cedar Point's done a great job in keeping everybody abreast of the situation what on cool, Twitter. What was cool is that you could tell, like, literally, like, literally the power was out. Like, literally, like, the main boss of the park was like, dudes, get out of the park and walk, man. Yeah, literally, <laughs> literally, I don't think I've seen, I've literally seen more probably office people or big men, big wig guys walk in the park right now because the power was out than I've ever seen in my entire time that I've come here. Kind of weird. Oh. The park is slowly coming tonight. Yeah, we just we just went on a... The Italian swings. Yeah. <laughs> we went on the Italian swing just to kind of cool off a little bit more. Yeah, We're, uh... Ah! As he trips and almost kills himself. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> we'll try this again. Apparently I can't walk. I'm falling over everywhere. So... Yeah, it's unique. None of the coasters are up, but a lot of the smaller rides are coming up, so that's kind of a good thing. But uh, we're actually heading over to the big one 
because there's the Bakers over there. So we gotta go there anyways. We just got off Steel Vengeance. <laughs> that was definitely one of my new favorites. Yeah. I can now officially say we now taste color. That was probably the most unique experience, unique roller coaster I've ever been on in my entire life. Been on a lot of coasters. Words to the wise. If you're afraid of coming out of your seat, don't do it. You do get a lot of not so much butt and seat time. The the air time on this coaster. It's ridiculous. I, it's really hard to put into words how awesome this coaster is. It really is. It was an absolutely great coaster. Um, wonderful. I mean, the drops, the speed. The turns. And the turns. The so bank. fluid. Turns were fluid. There was no jerk. There was no hard roll into it. It was just it. one smooth, long coaster the way it should have been. Great job, Cedar Point. But now we need to walk because we're still trying to figure out where our bearings are. Because <laughs> we're you not could doing flip. Maverick. No because Maverick. Of power, because of the power outage, everything got pushed back a lot. So, like for right now for Maverick, the wait time is an hour regular, 45 for the fast. So yeah. it's like no. So we're we're not doing that one right now. We're going back up front towards Millennium Force. Yep. So let's get going. <laughs> Love coasters. We just got off Millennium Force. Love Force. Oh well, yeah, Force is always great. Uh, one of the better ones that there is. She's gotten a little up over the years. Yeah, and there's no doubt. But, I mean, if you voted the best steel coaster. Yeah, I was gonna say, And it's literally the best coaster for that long. There's a reason behind it. We're just stopping here for a minute because, well, there's a train in the way that we can't go past. Uh, yeah, we gotta wait. We got one more ride in on Valraven. It's so smooth. I know I've pretty much blown my voice out today. We've Laura talked about this earlier. Some of the Halloween. Oh, weekend stuff. This is where the uh, Magic House on Boo Hill is. You can see, I'm back to that a little bit. I love the statue. Right next to Blue Streak, just off the side of Val Raven. One of the cooler things for the kids to do. And then, of course, look at these pretty puppies. Look at these pretty puppies. He's already got webs all over him. He's in the Halloween spirit. So that's it. There you go. Cedar Point. All done up. Uh, we did shoot a ending there at the park. But... Music. music. Way too loud in the back, so... Uh, it's just... Ever since ever since the one thing that happened to us, we're, get, we, we're learning a little bit more about what can and cannot go anymore, so... The editing has become very fun. Uh, it was a good day, though. It was a wonderful day. It was gorgeous outside. Temperatures were perfect. Not hot, not too windy, not too cold. So, mid-70s off to Lake Erie. Definitely worth it. <laughs> yep. Um, the uh, Fast Pass Plus is well worth it. If you have the money for it, definitely get it. And you can take a full advantage of that locker situation. If you do do the fast passes, you won't have to go into the front of the lot and <clears throat> um, and have the all-day lockers where you spend, like, I think it's like 20 bucks, I think is what we checked yeah, on he it. Said, he said it was like 15, 20 bucks, but what was very unique was, was that you paid $10 at the one locker that we started with. And it gives you, like, it was like a two-hour block. Two-hour window, and then... It's like a two-hour block. And as long as you don't use up that two hours worth of time... It'll reset. If you move it from one locker to the next set of lockers, and just use, like, the multi-day or multi-ride locker, we began to notice as the day went on, our time using that said locker 
continued to grow. Like it was. So we, cause so for example, we went from Val Raven to Gatekeeper, where there's another set of lockers. Then we went from uh, Gatekeeper down to Steel Vengeance lockers. Once everything powered back on at Steel Vengeance, we used the lockers, got in line, did the ride, pulled everything out, went to Millennium Force. Used the lockers there, rode Force, left Force, went back to Val Raven, used their lockers, and that was the entire day. Yeah, we never had to. We never had to pay any extra money. It's you know it was really the first time we've ever used the locker system, and it was perfect. Just great, great job by Cedar Point. I still cannot say enough good things about how awesome Steel Vengeance was. Um, it is just a mind blowing coaster. Um, like I said, just it just defies gravity. Yeah, yeah. If you're <laughs> if you're not a huge fan of always having to hold on tight. Uh, because your butt's coming out of the seat, you might not enjoy the ride too much. Even I had to really grip the handles at first because of the amount of air time, but it was still good. But As somebody who has a fear of that, it's actually not too terrible. It's just something that you got to get used to. Yeah, you got to get used to that. For that. The first ride out of the... I mean, even just to plummet over top of the hill, straight down, was ridiculous in nature. But it was the smoothest ride ever. It was just... Yeah, it was beautiful. I mean, that's all you can really say. It was beautiful. Great job by Cedar Point on that one. Um, We're hoping... You got to see your butterflies. Yeah, got to see my... Yeah, we had... And it sucks because it didn't make it into the cut of this particular video. But there in the front of the park, there... It actually was all pretty much throughout the entire park. They had these... Um, I want to call them hydrania bushes, but I don't, don't quote me on that. Um, where <clears throat> literally it was a butterfly garden. And so we got all these beautiful butterflies just flying around. So yeah. it was perfect. I loved it. Uh, like I said, just a gorgeous day. If you have a, you know, just watch your forecast and whatnot. You know, you Cedar wanna... Point app is is absolutely uh, the best one to use. If you can use it, and then hook up Cedar Point uh, on Twitter as well. They keep you abreast on everything. That's the way we knew how well. The power outage was going, how far it was, everything on it. It was just a great day, but... Twitter, too. Yeah, that's what I was just talking about. Yeah, and also, um, we're, you know, we are going to try and get to... Um, Hollow Weekends? Hollow Weekends. I haven't heard yet, but that's a possibility. It's always a possibility with us. Yep. So, there you go. You know... All said uh, and I, done. I, I would love to do. I would love to do Hollow Weekends, but of course, there's you know when we go to Hollow Weekends, we always go with our kids, so we can't go into some of the scarier areas of Cedar of the Hollow Weekends. Yeah, so. we'll see what happens. But we're done. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe as always, and we will see you very soon. Right on.